Rift Valley Larry's has yet bought itself another 14 days. Yet another among many ultimatums over a long time in which the long suffering of the two Kenyan and Ugandan governments has been put to the test. Following a meeting that was supposed to end years of Aravira poor performance, Aravira asked for more time to sort out its shareholders' issues. The shareholders' question facilitates accommodation of new entrants, Citadel of Egypt, which acquired 49% of Aravira. Citadel and Sheltam have been in a boardroom battle to acquire full control of Aravira. Now the two governments of Kenya and Uganda want a new company, Kenya Uganda Larry's Limited, formed and then shares distributed as they stand in Aravira today. The documents facilitating this process is what Aravira said they couldn't provide to the officials from both governments today that sat at the offices of the privatization unit for a whole day today. This is what has earned them 14 days more. There has been many calls for Aravira to be kicked out, particularly from the business community, but the governments have handled Aravira with gloved hands to date. Another meeting is scheduled for the 8th of February by the Joint Labor Commission to the two governments on the way forward. However, such terminologies as way forward have been used in the past and are not indicative of any solid action on the side of government, even if Aravira does not prove it will improve. Samuel Setumba, NTV, Business.